Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And styling, guys. So today, I want to talk about style confidence. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I, I was noticing some things on social media, YouTube, <laughs> outside. Um, and I'm noticing that there are quite a lot of people who are very, very confident in what they wear, right? Which is great. But then you have the other half that's very uncomfortable in certain clothes or just regular clothes, honestly. And my motto is, or my theory is, I think a lot of this stuff stems from childhood, right? Or maybe in your adulthood, someone has said something to you and you have completely sucked it up, absorbed it, and now you can't forget it, right? And I'll give you an example. So sometimes parents, um, they say things to their kids like, you know, uh, you need to lose weight or you're not smart or something like that. And that sticks with the kid up until they figure out that they are smart or they don't need to lose weight type of situation, right? And it's the same when it comes to clothes. If someone has told you anything about your body, meaning you have ugly legs or your butt is too big or your skin is too dark, um, whatever, you may now as an adult start to wear things to cover up, right? And we want to get away from covering up our entire body, right? Stop wearing clothes that actually swallow us um, if it's not what you're going for. And you can actually tell that. You can tell if someone is on trend with an oversized blazer opposed to someone who is just hiding their body, right? And I was thinking about an exercise that ladies and gentlemen can do. And that's write down some things that people have said about you that hurt your feelings, made you feel small, made you not want to wear certain things or even do certain things, right? Even like a job, right? It could be maybe someone said you wasn't smart enough and you really wanted to do something as far as like maybe engineering or something, right? And that person said this thing to you and it stuck with you. So write all the things down that people have said about you, all the bad stuff. And even write down some things you say about yourself. If you're a tall woman, I know for me, I never really struggled with my height as a child. Um, I shot up in like the fourth grade, maybe fourth or fifth grade, I shot up. Um, but by that time, I was already like loving myself and who I was. Um, and I never had an issue with like my height, right? Uh, I never felt uncomfortable. However, I do know people that I went to school with that was tall that kind of projected with attitude and like anger, right? Um, everyone else was shorter than us, but she and I was the two tallest. But what happened was like this person was like always fighting and stuff like that. So I took it as if, okay, maybe they were feeling a certain way or they had to prove themselves because they look different, right? So write this list down and just get it all out. You may even cry, who knows? and then toss it, okay? Toss it, and the reason why I'm saying to toss it is because you wanna now start doing the opposite, right? You wanna create another list. The other list is probably gonna have everything, well, it will have everything that you love about yourself, okay? I'm not gonna say that there's not anyone in this world that hates every single thing about their body because there is. There's a lot of people who struggle from low self-esteem, confidence issues, and it's not something that we can just like fix overnight. But for the rest of you guys, I know that there's something that you love about yourself. It could be the shape of your face, it could be your hair, your eye shape, your lips, your nose, um, your skin color, whatever it is. Write that on a separate piece of paper. Look at the list and really analyze the list. And then you can think about why did you feel that you may not have been this person on this good list, right? And I'll be honest with you, what's probably gonna happen is all the things that you wrote on the not so nice list, 
you're gonna end up putting it on your your good list because these are the things that you do recognize about yourself right you do know that you're beautiful you're you have great skin you have great hair you just I don't know all these things right so get those two lists together write everything down and go from there so here's where the confidence part comes comes in put on an outfit that makes you feel extremely good I would say something that you've worn before and you've gotten the most compliments you've ever received right think about the colors that you have on is it something that is it one of your colors like is it something that really if you're a warm term tone up uh, tone person it may be that um, or it could be whatever it is think about why you think these people were complimenting you on this outfit right so this is when we start to build a wardrobe of things that bring us out right so for me I like neutral colors I'm like a warm tone I think okay I think I'm a warm tone <laughs> but I definitely think I know well I know that I can do like some neutral colors right um so I'm kind of like I don't want to sit in between because I don't you can't be in between but I definitely know I'm a warm warm color and there are some things that are on the cooler side that I can wear but I have to mix it with another color and I can't wear it close to my face right so like right now I have on this black jacket I'm not a fan of black up top the only way I can do it is if I wear something under that is contrast to it right so that way it's kind of taken away from the jacket being black against my skin I don't know I've just never been a fan of black like I gotta see people and I'm like oh my god they look so great in it but for me it just doesn't work well with me um and I guess too it really depends on my makeup too like if I'm wearing lipstick I have a black shawl here now the shawl is a little bit different because I could wrap it I could pin my hair up I, that helps me if my hair is up um, out of my face but I definitely can't have it down I actually don't like the way I look with it so do that exercise um, write the do both lists the things that people have said about you toss it and then write the good things about it and then like I said put on a great outfit something that people have complimented you on a lot and start jotting down from that outfit why do you think that people love this outfit on you is it one of your go-to colors is it something that brings out your undertone is it something that makes you look really bright you know think about those things and then <laughs> this is four things you guys gotta do and then put on an outfit or well, flip it put on an outfit that you don't really like how you look in it and if you are a warm tone to warm tone person for some side if you're a warm tone person the outfit that you don't like is 99% of the time a cool color and what cool colors do is if you're a warm tone it kind of makes you look dull and let me see I don't have anything in this room because I don't have a lot of it um, but I do know that what do I have mmm this is the other room I have a blue jacket actually it's gray it's like a gray and I just when I wear it it just and the reason why I know it doesn't I don't like it on my on my undertone is because I like gold jewelry and with that jacket it's like I have to wear silver and it just doesn't it doesn't do anything for me so those are the four things write the first list on the things that people said bad about you toss it create the second list the things that you love put on a great outfit actually flip that put on the bad outfit first right and see why you don't like it and then the fourth thing is put on the outfit that you do love, right? And out of those two outfits, you write everything down, write the things that you don't love about it, and then write the things that you do love about the outfit that people gave you compliments on. And I guarantee you, you're going to figure out this whole color scheme thing, right? Once you figure that out, you're going to start shopping from that. And I want you guys to figure out, do some homework, right? Do some research on all of the warm tone colors, right? There's a slew of them. Get a list of them and start shopping from that list. That way, you're buying everything that actually goes for your undertone. If you're cold, you do the opposite, right? So you do the same thing. And go from there. And I guarantee you guys, you'll eventually have the wardrobe of your dreams because it'll have 
great color harmony within your wardrobe and that is great for when you guys are trying to interchange your clothes, use something with another um, item and make it look good, right? So just a short video on confidence and things you can do to figure out why you may be lacking it and things you can do to enhance it, which is creating these positive lists and putting on this outfit that makes you feel really, really good, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment. Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles and Y Guys and my blog, Coco Styles NYC and my website, CocoStylesNY.com. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.